Are you married? Are you up to 30 years? Are you up to, huh? 28. Good! <laughs> what I want young men between the age of 24 and 32. Are you getting the point? Uh -huh. That kind of church, like 70%, there'll be like 300 or 500 here. That kind of ministry is rare. Huh? I don't want to say the rest that happens when that kind of thing is possible. Because those days, while we are young in the faith, there are some churches that advise us to, they advise young ladies to go to if you want to be married. It's actually wisdom. Of. I know the sisters will be born now. Let the wise one pick my wisdom. There is in the rules of engagement, hmm? there is, there is the, what is called the rule of positioning. You want to marry a prayerful and sincere man eh, and you are inquire where they don't pray. How will you find the man? Except your choir master is a prayer person. Just marry, just be inquire and marry somebody that can sing. The two of you will be singing. So it's good. Eh? Ask that young man that is 18 to 20 years that is talking about marriage and woman. If they give him woman, what will he do with the woman? Because you there is nothing. If, if what you do with a woman is to sleep with a woman, that's what you think they do with a woman, is abuse. Something is wrong with your mind. That's the least, that's the least thing a woman is called to do. So that's to prove to you now that you don't have need. You don't have need. You have not located your calling, located your mission, your vision. You have not walked towards it. You don't need a woman. What will you do with him, with her? She, she's supposed to follow somebody that has a vision. Remember I was talking about your destiny not being able to be changed in principle. But experimentally it can be changed. And one of the things that can affect it is choice. Imagine if you marry the wrong person. I can't imagine it. <laughs> you know, you will not know until you now marry. Because there is this thing that happens to people's head that tells them to become another person when you marry. Especially if you are a lady. Once they marry, something tells them, ah, when the battle is over, I don't know why it's inside their head. Every young lady is there. Whether you believe it or not, it's there. Is there something is telling them, labor and marry, then, then start tying rapper. <laughs> Up and down. If you don't tie rapper, how will they know you are the madam of the house? Hey, oh you sisters, all this rapper ministry, I ban you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> what did the man see? That thing he saw. That way you were looking when he married you. Just because he's now praying and being that thing. Mm, that thing. Niko, Baha, Sitaka. He needs to be seeing it. He might not pressure you so that they will not say he's disturbing you. But there was something DP taught us many years ago. He said, you are not taking care of yourself. Didn't you notice your husband is always watching television and he likes the people he's seeing? Why do you think he likes those people he's seeing? You know, I did not know that thing until one elderly deacon in my church. We, we normally do contribution after Sunday school in my church. He was doing contribution. He said some, some women, eh, hey, that the problem, when I was, I'm looking at him, I said, this man cannot be seeing this kind of thing. He cannot, he's already, you know, are you with me? Mm. He said some women that, they will not even change their, their hair is smelling, they will carry it, and they, they will now be praying. They, they. I said, uh -uh. So this man is interested in smelling her. As old as he is. 
and you say, you now marry. You want to pack bus. Young man, don't marry a woman that will pack bus after marrying the person. Anybody that is planning to pack bus, you can know now, not when you marry. There is a mindset they have. There is a mentality they have. I'm not teaching about relationship, but I cannot survive this long if I don't know something. I have survived all kinds of things. I can see danger three months before it will come. It has helped me a lot. One day, I will begin to tell you people what I know. I, even though I've been telling some of my brothers in the secret. So, be, the first thing, of course, the looks is very important. Very, very important. But, that is what we call character. But even me, um, if I say this now, people will say, but the way I see things is different from the way people see things. What I prioritize the most when I see a young lady is your mindset. A set of mindset you have. There are people that cannot get themselves to think in a particular way. It's a big problem. See, if somebody can think correctly, he can become anything. It will even become easy for you to mold your character. So when, somebody, when you see such people, when you tell them, if the person is overweight, you tell the person, Kai, this is your weight. The person will see with you. But when you tell the wrong person, he will, she will be offended. You don't need that kind of people. And if you're a guy, you can't receive it too. You are the wrong kind. Something is wrong with your mind. When you tell, even when you say something bad to those people, they take it up as a challenge, not as offense. I tell you the truth. There are people like that. I'm like that. When you come and tell me, eh, this one, you can't do this. This one is like this. Eh? Even if it is true. You know the way I walk. Eh? Even if it is true. I said, okay, no problem. I'll just take it and go and work on it. 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 By the time you come back three months later, six months later, more often than not, I'll be better than you in that thing. But you tell another damn she will be offended. It's not about the thing, it's about your mind. So you, that thing they told you can either keep you down or take you up. You have a mindset, when they throw stone at you, what do you do with the stone? You throw back. Many, I know you said no, but many people throw back. If you throw stone, the right mindset will take the stone and build yourself. If you know how hard I've worked on myself, you won't believe it. Beyond ministry. I have to go and source information where it is far. If they tell you you can't do it, what do you do? Make sure it doesn't affect your mind. 